Hello everyone, it's the Canadian Futures Trader here. Thanks for checking out this video. Before we get to the actual video itself, I want to do a quick introduction. This video that you're gonna watch is actually part of a larger series I've put together for futures traders. I started out futures trading just a few years ago and I found it really, really difficult to find good information to learn how to trade futures. So what I've done is put together this completely free course. It's on my website. There's a link down below. There's no upsells. There's, there's nothing for sale on my website. So just come absorb the information. If you like this video, definitely encourage you to check out all the others in the series as well on top of that i mean there's just a ton of written content and it's only going to grow i'm only going to add to this over time this is my way of giving back to everybody it's all the information that i had to figure out on my own when i first started and there's no reason that everybody should have to go through that process and there's no reason you should have to pay for expensive courses that really don't teach you much of anything outside of the basic i'm going to leave you with that enjoy the video in this video, I'm going to show you what I call the one or two tick scalp. I mean, the name says it all. Basically, the setup for this is it's very similar to another trade setup, which is the range play. Range play tends to be a little bit bigger, though. Four or five ticks, I would say. The one or two tick scalp is obviously, I'm just looking for one or two ticks. The price action is stuck in a very narrow range, and I'm trying to capitalize on the price just bouncing back and forth in that one or two tick range. So. This trade takes place later in the day. I believe it was a Friday. Things really come to a crawl. So even though there had been activity at all different price ranges throughout the session, right now it's trading kind of down here. So what you're gonna see me do in this video, once I let it play, I go short at the price of 20 and immediately I'm looking to get filled at a price of 18 to get out of this trade. Um, with the one and two take scalps, I definitely use strategies, which would also be called bracket orders or ATM in, in NinjaTrader. Essentially, as soon as I enter this position, Jigsaw will automatically put a take profit two ticks away. So I will let this play now. You can see me go short here. I've entered my limit order. There I get filled. There's my immediate take profit. And you know why I do that, obviously, besides the fact that I know that this is kind of the play that I want to make, is that you'll get the fastest queue position. You can see already I'm 109th in the queue. There's 140, and well, it keeps changing, 195, etc. So putting that automatic take profit in is just quicker than me manually setting it. And you're going to see here in a second, we're already one tick to the good. Queue positions thinning out, and there we go. We got a winner. So that was about a 30 second trade and that's all we were looking for i'm not sticking around to see if it continues further down i'm not looking to squeeze more out of this this is very much a trade when you recognize that the pattern has been getting stuck in a very tight range and i actually have a second video where i go long in this exact same session and looking for the same thing it's kind of at the bottom of the few tick range and i'm looking to go long and just get a few ticks on the bounce back up. So just to recap really quick, I mean, the setup for this is it's trading in a narrow, narrow, like a two tick range. It's just bouncing back and forth. Usually there's not a lot of contracts being traded. If there was, the price would be moving more than two ticks. This is one, I didn't talk about stops or anything. Obviously, if it broke out, if it went like two ticks against me, I'm out. And yes, you're saying, well, that's kind of a, a bad risk to reward you know you're looking for a two tick winner or you're willing to take a two tick loser very true but the reality is you're entering this trade after you've seen it repeat its pattern several times and yes sometimes you are going to take a two tick loser but you're kind of playing the math and the long-term game where you know two-thirds of these work out or three quarters you know the one quarter doesn't work out but that's still as a whole going to work out for you in the long run thanks so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video Thank <laughs> you.